Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video. I'm gonna be reviewing the new Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. We're gonna do the demo, we're gonna do work test, and I'm gonna give you guys my overall thoughts. So um, yeah, if you guys are not here for the look, because I'm gonna be creating this look, um, you're gonna have to skip right through because I personally like to do the whole shebang when I'm uh, reviewing complexion products so that you guys can see like how everything blends in but yeah this is not my first time trying this out um, I've been playing with this and I already know how I feel about it so you guys are gonna have to wait till the end of the video to know what I think but yeah like right now I'm on hour number four of wearing the tinted moisturizer I, f I forgot to film an intro and thankfully I just remember so I had to hop on camera real quick to say hi to you guys and uh, yeah with that being said let's just jump right into the demo alright my loves so let's get started here is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow Only One Tinted Moisturizer so I got the shade tan and um, this comes in a total of 12 shades it retails for $36 so basically you have your fair medium tan tan and then deep the coverage claims to be light. The finish is supposed to be like dewy, natural. Uh, the formula is obviously a liquid. It's supposed to be for all skin types. Uh, so it's pretty much a primer infused all day wear. It's supposed to prime, perfect, protect, hydrate. It's oil free, it's breathable. Um, it's sweat, humidity resistant. It's not supposed to crease, cake, or settle into fine lines. It won't cause breakouts and it moisturizes the skin up to 24 hours. So let's get into the application for brows. If you guys are wondering, I use the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit with the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number six. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin. I'm gonna be using the Fenty uh, Hydro Visor, I think it's called. I'm on day six today, I believe. Um, using all the Fenty Beauty products, Fenty Beauty, Fenty skin products and so far so good you guys no breakouts, no irritation so I will let you guys know at the end of the month my overall thoughts on the Fenty skin products I'm gonna go in with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum I know that um, this I should have put on before but I like to put this on top of the moisturizer so that my foundation glides on even better it's gonna go in with a little bit of my Charlotte Hollywood flawless filter in the shade number six dark tan this is just to give me a glow you guys more than anything because it's super sheer so it's not like it's gonna give me coverage you guys already know the drill but for any of those of you who are wondering so before I apply it into moisturizer, I'm going to spray the Forsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. Alrighty you guys, so I'm just going to apply this on the back of my hand real quick so you guys can see the consistency. That's it right there. Now I will say on the weekend, I was out at, at the pool and I got a tan so this may not... Let me see. No, it still works. Thank God. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so that's one layer. I just applied it on this side right here. As you guys can see, it looks like skin. You can still see through all the darkness that I have around my mouth. I can still see a little bit of the dark spots that I have. It's such a natural formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more. So moving on to concealer, I'm going to mix both of these, uh, the Born This Way by Too Faced in the shade Warm Sand with the Pat McGrath in the shade M17. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Pat McGrath just to give me that like golden undertone because the Too Faced is like more peachy. And I'm just gonna use the Camel Sponge by Elf. I 
You guys already know Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Medium 2. Look at this. I need a new one. So I'm gonna grab the same powder and I'm gonna use my powder puff from uh, La Mercy and I'm just gonna very lightly press in the powder like I'm barely grabbing product. This just kind of makes my under eye look so smooth and flawless. I don't do this all the time, but today I wanna look snatched, okay? Where am I going? Absolutely nowhere. All right, you guys, I have not been able to put this down. This is the Cheeks Out um, Cream Bronzer in the shade Teddy, number five. Ugh, the shade, I, I don't know, in the formula, it's just so perfect. This is the 115 by Fenty as well. So I like to just grab product, remove some on the back of my hand so I don't apply too much. And then look at that, it just looks so like smooth. On the five head, six head, seven head. <laughs> oh God. All right, look at the, uh, I just love it. Let's set the face. So this is the Bobbi Brown Skin Weightless Powder Foundation. And I've mentioned this foundation is super lightweight, very skin-like. This one's in the shade Golden with my MAC 138, which is discontinued sorry guys I mainly like to use Mac brushes I know I know but that's what I'm used to and I don't think that's ever gonna change I've tried other brushes but they're just not cutting it for me you see how like it smooths out the skin so now I'm gonna grab the hourglass um, ambient lighting powder in the shade radiant light this is just like a strobing very uh, light type of powder that'll set the makeup but it's not gonna add glitter or shimmer it's just gonna add a glow from within it just makes the skin look flawless it adds a filter it's like a powder filter for your skin absolutely upset so now I have to rehydrate refresh my skin with some fix plus and I like to drench my face this is a trick to that flawless skin flawless makeup I'm telling you if you haven't tried it I suggest you do I don't care if you have dry combo oily skin this will give you that flawless look do you guys see how smooth my skin looks like upset so we're gonna bronze with the Charlotte Tilbury in the shade number 310 one of my face at the moment and my favorite brush for applying bronzer which is the MAC 140 brush so again I like to tap off some of the product before I go in look how golden that looks bronzy so I'm gonna apply some brush I'm gonna be mixing these two products this is the NARS liquid blush in the shade Torrid and this is the um, Beauty Wand by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Peach Gas. I'm just like probably one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products. This adds a lot of glow and this is just, has, it's very highly pigmented. So I'm just going to mix both of them. Two pumps of that, the NARS, and then with the Charlotte, I'm just going to put it right here. That's what that looks like, you guys see. So you guys see that? <laughs> powder blush who we don't know her over here I'm gonna be grabbing this Becca highlighter in the shade blush copper you guys I don't know if this is discontinued I'm really sorry but I have so many products that I haven't used because you know like I forget or it just yeah like I don't see them and I'm always using the same stuff and I just I have to use my stuff you know now I'm going to grab the Artist Couture Diamond Powder. Is that what it's called? Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Conceited. I haven't used this in a while. This used to be like my fave. I'm just going to grab the same brush. Just very lightly. A moment of silence. Ah, oh, What?
And then with this tiny little brush, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that as well right here. And on the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna set my face before I do my eyeshadow. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. Drenchers face girl. <laughs> Alright, so for the eyes, I'm gonna grab the snap shadow from Fenty. This is number five, so this is the peach one. My fave out of all. I'm gonna be grabbing my 224 brush from MAC and I'm gonna be grabbing this shade right here called Churro. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade called Shoot Your Shot. Okay. And same thing, I'm just gonna apply that like right here underneath that other shadow. Gonna go in with this MAC highlighter. This is the Hot Damn Extreme Extra Dimension Skin Finish with my uh, 239 for MAC. I just love me a peachy moment, okay? I'm just gonna go back in with the Shoot Your Shot um, shadow from Fenty and 224. Gonna be using this shadow from MAC oh what is this called i'm gonna leave it in the description box um guys or i'm gonna put it up here somewhere because um yeah i just have the magnets just kind of blended it into the other crease shadow i use I'm gonna be using my their real mascara by benefit one of my favorite mascaras ever and if you're one of those people, look, I'm not trying to throw shade, but if you're one of those people that goes, sis, force yourself to not do that because you're creating wrinkles. Just, I get anxiety every time I see people do that. I, OMG. I know it's hard because I used to do it back in the day, you know, but you got to force yourself. Every time you catch yourself, just stop, stop. Using Cork by MAC for my um, lip pencil. And then right on top, just to add a little bit of depth, this is the Limitless Brown by uh, Makeup Forever. For lipstick, I'm using the KKW in the shade, what's that, 90s Glam. Look at that. For gloss, I'm gonna be using the Buxom in the shade Leslie, one of my faves. It's just like a peachy, golden kind of gloss. I'm also gonna add a little bit of the Artist Couture. This is the what? The Diamond. Can't remember what it's called, but this one's in the shade Climax. It's more of a lip topper no it's a lip gloss but look at that i'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the airbrush um spray by charlotte's because we're extra all right my love so here's the final look so this is what the smashbox scented moisturizer looks after all the makeup has been applied. So we're gonna be doing a wear test because of course, how can we not do a wear test? I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see up close how the product looks. All right, so right now we're looking flawless. We're looking dewy. I love this makeup. I'm gonna go and take some pictures, and then I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna check back in with you guys in a little bit, and yeah, I'll see you later. Sorry, you guys. My husband, he's so cute. He knew that I still had like taste buds for the Cinnabons or whatever, and he got me some creme brulee. 
I love creme brulee. I'm just a dessert type of person, you know? I love desserts. I don't like candy necessarily, but desserts, oh yeah, yeah. Alrighty, you guys, so it's been about six hours. I am done. I just wanna take this off. I don't like to leave makeup on for too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see how the tinted moisturizer has been holding up. All right, let me just apply a little lip gloss because you girl are looking crazy out here. I personally feel like this holds up so well, so nicely. And you guys, I went outside to take pictures. I always take pictures on my balcony and it is hot. I live in Florida, it is humid, it is hot. And let me tell you, even though I was sweating, it stayed on. Like it is such a gorgeous, product and for it to be so lightweight it just stays on beautifully all right so now we can get on to my final thoughts on the tinted moisturizer so sorry if i'm looking down i just have my laptop here i have all my notes here i've been you know typing everything down but let's start off with the shades so there's a total of 12 shades and i personally in my opinion i think they did an amazing job this time around with the shades and the undertones if you guys uh remember back in the day they used to have a bb cream i think it was called the camera ready i'll put it up here somewhere and the formula for that was great but the shades and the undertones were so bad everything looked very gray very cool very ashy especially the tan to deeper um shades just not it was not it you know and I feel like this time around with the Tinted Moisturizer, um, even though there's only 12 shades, they divided everything into categories of, you know, fair, medium, tan, and deep. And I feel like they hit every single uh, range. Um, specifically the deeper range, I feel like they did a great job. If you guys go on the website, you'll see like, they did a really good job with the deeper shades. In my opinion, that's not to say that they there's uh, no room for improvement, that like they can definitely improve and add more shades in the future, but I feel like for a tinted moisturizer, um, the undertones and the shades are really, really uh, perfect in my opinion. So moving on to the finish, it claims to have a healthy glow, kind of like radiant dewy finish, and I agree. It just adds radiance to the skin. It's very fresh looking and just, it makes your skin look awake. It adds a soft filter to the skin. It blurs it out, it smooths it out. It is so beautiful. and. I just feel like, you know, if you have very textured skin or very large pores, you will absolutely love this because it just glides onto the skin like butter and it just looks natural. It does not look like you're wearing makeup. I am obsessed. It is gorgeous. Now this also claimed to be a primer infused tinted moisturizer that perfects, protects, hydrates, um, sweat and humidity resistant, won't crease, won't cake, won't settle into fine lines and won't cause breakouts. I agree with everything i haven't had a breakout and i've been trying this product out for a while now also in terms of the primer infused claim i also agree i didn't use a primer today and i feel like if you're that type of person who doesn't like to use primers you just like to go straight in with your makeup you will love this because like i said you have your little tint of color to even out your skin you have a little bit of your spf to protect it you have a little bit of like a moisturizer to hydrate your skin it's just like an all-in-one it's like the perfect combination of everything that you need for that flawless application and it also claimed to be sweat and humidity resistant and i also agree like i said i was out on the balcony and i take my time when i take my pictures okay and it stayed on like it does not move it does not budge and I also was um in Orlando this weekend I wore this stayed on like I'm a person that sweats I sweat just instantly like I don't know what it is but I sweat very easily and it stays on it stays on so I think this is great for um, hot tropical weather um, like environments and I just feel like if you have normal dry combo skin even oily skin i would recommend this it's not overly glowy or overly overly dewy for an oilier skin type i feel like if you powder really well and you set your makeup you'll be fine you're gonna get greasy obviously that's just natural but i don't find this to be overly or excessively dewy you get what i'm saying and the texture feels almost like a serum moisturizer type of vibe it's just so like 
hydrating it's amazing i'm really really obsessed with this now to finish up i want to compare this to the nars tinted moisturizer and the kosas foundation so in terms of the glow i would say that the kosas is number one then the smashbox and then the nars i feel like because this has so many oils in here you're gonna get very very glowy this is very moisturizing and hydrating and it adds a glow but it's not as intense as this and then this is very radiant but this adds more of a glow i'm just gonna show you guys so why why even talk right so we have kosas smashbox nars so i'm gonna blend out the nars first right here i'm gonna blend out the smashbox and i'm gonna blend out the kosas i don't know if you guys can tell let me just blend it out a little bit more so you guys can see the actual finish of the products all right there we go so nars smashbox and you see how the kosas is more dewy so that's pretty much what i mean by that this is um the one that has the most coverage and then in terms of the nars and then this one i would say the nars has more coverage than the smashbox in my opinion i just feel like this has a little bit more coverage so yeah overall you guys i give this a like two thumbs up i think smashbox killed it i think it did an amazing job with the shade range with the finish with the coverage with everything i am obsessed highly highly recommend this especially because i feel like a lot of brands make tinted moisturizers and they're all like fails because of the shade range and the undertones is usually because of that they all look very gray very ashy and so far nars has been the only one that has done it right in my opinion because they have very yellow golden undertones for this line right here and just the the formula the finish everything's a vibe for me you guys know how much i love this but now that i have this with um smashbox like i'm super happy because i like being able to use different like very lightweight type of products like especially for summer right now it's super hot so I'm just thrilled, okay? I'm happy to have this, highly recommend this. All of these are amazing. By the way, if you guys want me to do a video on all of my favorite go-to no makeup makeup, foundations, tinted moisturizers, let me know. I would be, you know, so happy to do it. But yeah, this is it, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please check the description box below for all the product information. Follow your girl on Instagram at Simply Diana J. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions, suggestions, video requests, all of that jazz. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, beauties.